Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery is back with another math video. Uh, I'm just want to uh, I just want to say sorry in advance because I know that this picture is not very good. Uh, the website was giving me some some problems. I had to take a picture of the page with my phone, and it turned out not the prettiest, but it will get us through the day. So no worries. So, uh, I know it's a little hard to see the page number. Our page number today is 161. So, we have 161. So, make sure you get your robot turtle book out, get to page 161, and then we can get going. So, if you need some time, make sure you pause the, uh, the video. And then, when you're ready, hit play, as always. And today, we're doing lesson 4-1. And we have a little story problem, and we're going to learn how to set something up. So before we even read anything, let's set up some number spaces, a circle for whatever math sign we need. We don't know if we need plus or minus. Another number space, our epic equal sign, and an, our answer space. So let's go ahead and read this short little story problem to find out what exactly they want us to do, because... Uh, I don't have any idea, but we'll figure it out. Don't worry. Mark has 13 erasers. Did you see or hear anything special? Of course we did. We saw that number 13. Remember right now in any story problem, if we see a number, we need to make sure we circle it because they don't just tell us numbers for fun. Okay. He gives five of them to Troy. Okay, and that number five is pretty special. How many erasers does Mark have now? Show your thinking in the space below. Now, there was a special word that we heard in this story. It's actually in the second sentence. He gives five of them to Troy. Now, what word do you think is special? Is it he gives or them? It's actually going to be the word gives, because when we hear the word gives, that means we are going to need to do something very special. Okay, so what do you think? Are we going to need our plus sign or a minus sign? If you're going to give a friend stuff, does that mean you're going to have even more stuff? Or will you have less? So if you think we're going to have more stuff, point to the plus sign. If you think we're going to end up having less stuff, point to the minus sign. So if we're giving stuff away, we're going to have less, so we, it's going to be a subtraction problem. So in this little circle here, we need to make sure we put a minus sign. So now we need to reread the problem, see what our numbers are, and figure out how to set up a subtraction problem. So Mark has 13 erasers. He gives five to Troy. So the main rule with any subtraction problem is that the big number has to go first. There is no if, ands, or buts. It has to go first. So which number is the biggest? Is it five or 13? I really hope you're pointing at the 13. The 13 is, of course, bigger than the five. Okay, so if the 13 goes first, where does the 5 go? Is that going to be our second number, or is that our answer? Well, if he gives 5 away, that means we're taking 5, right? So if we're taking 5, that's how much we are subtracting. Okay, so you with me so far? Okay, good. So we have our number sentence set up if you at, if at any point guys if you need a, a couple more seconds or minutes just pause the video anytime and take your time and we are going to use these numbers just like we would for addition for on our number line okay so this first number is always going to be our start right that is our start number and this second number is always going to be the jumps. Okay? That will never change. Same thing in addition. The first number is our start number. 
The second number is our jumps. The same thing goes for subtraction. Okay, so let's find our start number on a number line. If you have one on your desk, that's fine. You can use it, or you can draw one really quick like I did. So we need to find our start number first, and I have right here, it's 13. I'm going to make a dot. All right. And now we know we need to jump five times. But when we are subtracting, we need to jump backwards. We are not making a huge number. We want a smaller number when we see a minus sign. So we have to jump backwards. So let's go ahead and try it out. All right. So let's count five jumps. One, two, three, four and five I stop and I landed on eight so now I know that 13 minus five is eight and that is our answer so mark has how many erasers now well on this bottom line here we can write the that number eight again okay so when we set up any subtraction problem I'm just gonna repeat myself big number goes first little number goes second and their job is still the same. First number is the start number. Second number is our jump number. The only difference is that we are jumping backwards. That's it. That is the only thing that's changing. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn to page 162. And let's give a few more a try. Okay. Here is what page 162 looks like. Alright. I erased... Uh, you know, stuff off of number one because they do it for us. And that just, oh, man, it makes me so frustrated. Okay, so we have 11 minus 3. So, again, guys, this first number is our start number. Start. And this other number is our jumps. So, we're going to find 11 first because that's our start number. And then we're going to jump three times. But remember, we are jumping backwards. We're jumping to all the way towards the zero because we have this little subtraction sign. It tells us we have to jump to the smaller numbers. So if, you're, if you see a minus sign and you're jumping to that 20, whoa, stop yourself. Think again. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Jump three times backwards. One, two, three. I stop. And I land on eight. So 11 minus 3 is 8. All right, and let's, you know what, before we even try number 2, let's give this convince me here a, like, let's give it a try. I think we should. So they set up a subtraction problem for us, saying 9 minus 5. They want to know what it is. And they're asking, how can we solve this with a number line? Well, we can make a number line really quick. We know how to do that. So when we make a number line for subtraction, I know we're going to probably do this in a few more lessons, but doesn't hurt to get started early, right? Uh, we're going to start with that 9, make that my first number. So instead of counting on, we're going to count backwards. So if, uh, if you need a little running start, as I like to call it, with counting backwards, you can start from a bigger number, like 10. We have 10, 9, what's one smaller than 9? 8, 1 smaller than 8 is 7, 1 smaller than that is 6, 1 smaller than that is 5, 1 smaller than that is 4, and then 3, 2, and we'll stop at 2. So we have 9 minus 5, we have no idea what this is. And I'm just going to rewrite it so it's a little bit bigger. 9 minus 5 equals blank. We have no idea. But since we had a little bit of practice, I want you guys to solve this on your own. So we, I'm going to just say, you know what? We know our start number is right here. We know it's 9. Go ahead and show me 5 jumps to the correct number. And then we'll kind of go over it. Make sure that you were jumping the correct way and that you landed on the correct number. All 
All right, if you're not done, then of course pause the video and take your time. But if you are done, let's go over it. We have nine, right? We found nine. Now we need to jump five times, but since we see this minus sign, it tells us we have to jump backwards. We are just jumping backwards, that's it. So let's jump five times. One, two, three, four, and five. I stop, and I land on four. So nine minus five is, well, it's four. Okay, let's give number two a try on your own, okay? Now, I know they wrote it backwards. Uh, don't worry about that. I'll write it the correct way for you. Just ignore that. So it's 15 minus 6 equals blank. Okay? I know this setup is a little bit more familiar. I don't like when they mix it up like that. That is just silliness. So go ahead and use the number line to solve 15 minus 6 completely on your own. And then we'll go over it together. Okay, if you're still working on 15 minus 6, do me a favor, hit the space bar, pause the video, take your time with it. Okay, do not rush it. But if you're done, we're going to go over it. Okay, so remember, our first number is what? What's its special name? Well, I always call it the start number, right? This is where we start on our number line, so we need to find 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There it is. And then our second number is what? Our jump number. Okay, so we know we need to make six jumps, but which direction are we going? Are we going to follow this green arrow and jump to the big numbers towards the 20? Or should we follow this blue arrow and jump backwards towards the zero? Which one should we do? Well, if you're pointing to that blue arrow, I agree with you. Because we see this minus sign, and that minus sign tells us we have to jump backwards. So, we're not going to do this one. Nope, that would be silly. So let's go ahead and jump six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I landed on nine. So, now I know that 15 minus 6 is 9. That's it. Alright? Um, I'll tell you what, we'll do one last one, and then you're going to be completely on your own, okay? So, let's go to the next page, 163. Alright, guys, here's page 163. Now, right here for number 3. I want you to try it on your own. It's 11 minus 6. Do it completely on your own, okay? Completely on your own. Use the number line if you need to. And then we'll check it out together. Make sure you're getting the correct answers. Okay, if you're still working on it, pause the video, take your time. But if you're set, then let's go over it. Okay, so we see that 11 is our start number. We find 11. We see that we have a minus sign. So that means we have to jump backwards. And then we see our jump number is 6. So we have to jump 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I stop. And land on 5. So 11 minus 6 is 5. Alright, now for number 4 and 5, let me just rewrite these for you a little bit. Okay? So, 
Number four says blank equals seven minus seven. I don't like how they write that. We'll just rewrite it as seven minus seven equals blank. And then for number five, they give you the start number. They give you the end number. They want you to find the jumps, okay? So I'll give you a little hint. You put a dot on the 15, put a dot on the seven. Figure out how to get there. How many, all right? Um, I'm a, the only reason I'm giving you guys that much of a hint is because they don't really give us time to practice stuff like this earlier in the unit. And that is just super frustrating. I hate when they do stuff like that. So, here you go. Um, do these completely on your own. When you're all done, let me know, and I will have another assignment for you. I will, of course, have something on IXL. So, if you know how to get on IXL, okay. You can go straight on there. Uh, if IXL is not working, you can always go on Pink Cat. Okay? For friends that are not in my room that might be watching this, well... You're going to have to ask your teacher what they would like you to do next. All right. So I hope you guys think that this stuff is kind of easy because it's just very similar to addition, but it's subtraction. We're just jumping in a different direction. Um, and that's it. All right. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.